17, I also took the trouble of informing uh, a guy called Simon TSE, C, who was the chief executive of the driver vehicle registration, DVLA, in Swansea. This is notifying him that the vehicle is now to be recorded as belonging to me and in my name, Peter of England, but is not to be registered. So in effect, I've taken back ownership from the DVLA, a government corporation, and taken it back into my sole uh, ownership uh, and, and hands. And that letter was sent on the 17th. I've also attached a fee schedule that if anything, uh, if they um, actually reveal any more information to any third party, that I will uh, assume that to be a, a breach of confidence and that I will pursue them in a, a, in a common law court of record or the Queen's Bench Division of the High Court. Now people might say, well, how, how can you do that? What are you going to do? One of the most important documents I think you, you might come into contact with is to uh, how to in, uh, enforce a, a lien, uh, a commercial lien, on the property of another individual. And if you go to, uh, let's see, if you go to uh, hmrcgov.uk slash manuals and type in form N379, you might find that of interest. That is the document that shows how to put a, how to put a commercial lien onto an individual's property. And that means he can't sell or deal with that property unless he first settles the lien with you. And finally, we come now to uh, the old chestnut. When the officer stops you, instead of getting into a load of questions and answers uh, and explains or uh, explanations of what you can and can't do, claiming that you're a sovereign of the land and can't be touched, um, I'm a little bit dubious on that. But what we have done one of the greatest minds or some of the greatest minds in the United States and also in the United Kingdom in their legal capacity have said the biggest mistake that the individual makes is speaking to the police. So we have a little laminated card here which we give to the policy officer explaining to him our situation. And what we're basically saying is that we are not going to be speaking to him. It says here at the top, no statutory charges are to be brought without the express, express written consent. We mentioned the court of record, that which, which we represent, which is court code reference 750181. If you want to uh, mention that at any time, uh, if you get stopped or in trouble, we will deal with any litigation on your behalf. That's court number 750181, and that's in Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire. It's a court of record. It's the highest standard of a court in the country. It's above the Crown Court, the Royal Courts of Justice, because the people of America and England no longer have access to a common law court of record. All these other ones are corporate kangaroo courts um, stocked by people who, the judges who sworn oaths to the Crown and the Bar Council and the Law Society are all members of corporate bodies who only get in there by signing the rule book. And the rule book basically has you at the bottom. Um, this is an explanation. I'll just very quickly outline it. It says, Dear Enforcement Officer, if you're not willing to swear under oath on full commercial liability that I have an obligation to have the documentation and displays you falsely claim in order for me to exercise my rights to travel under common law, then you should not proceed with ticketing action. It goes on, I will ex exercise my prerogative not to enter into discussion with you concerning road tax, MOT, driving license, or other statutory requirements. Um, I basically then mention ignorance of his position by negligent misstatement of the law is one of the, 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 the great travesties of the law and under a common law case of what's called Headley, Byrne and Heller, it actually shows that he has not the protection of his office or his badge or anyone has, does not have that protection if they're operating what's called ultra vires, outside their capacity. Um, so what we're basically saying here, I have the right to travel and declare that I am not subject to your conventional presumptions. I have served affidavits upon the Crown and the Attorney General, exerting my rights under common law as well as my un notice of understanding and claim of right, 
These affidavits have not been rebutted. As a result, under common law, they have agreed to my understanding by way of acquiescence. I've attached my fee schedule at the bottom, and it says, finally, you may wish to contact your chief constable before you proceed further. That's that one. And then here we have another one for displaying for the tax disc, which says, this vehicle does not display a road fund license. Ticketing or clamping will result in the following damages being pursued against you if you attempt to enforce any ticketing action without my written consent and wet signature contract. There's the fee schedule, and in a nutshell, that's about it. The reason we're doing this today is to put it all on record, because it is now 10 to 10, and hopefully by noon today, or maybe 1 o'clock, I shall be driving on the roads with a vehicle with personal plates um, under the name of Peter of England. I'll not dis be displaying a tax disc, and equally, the insurance will be cancelled as of noon. So this isn't a malicious act, this isn't me getting caught in the act of committing some type of statutory crime where I haven't got the money to pay for insurance or I can't afford the road tax. The road tax is already there, it's valid till October for the record. But if I'm not displaying it, I'm committing an offence. Very strange. So, what we've basically taken the, the initiative is, let's for once and for all try and prove to all the free men movements out there, the Freemen of the Land um, website movement, Scribed, uh, Mary Croft, um, uh, the chap, I can't remember his name now, um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, all the recommendations are to do this, this will work, that won't work, people have tried this, people have not responded after, some people have managed to avoid the credit problems, uh, others have been not so successful. So what we're here today is to start it as we mean to go on with manifest action on the road as a protest in 2012, the year of the Jubilee, the year when the world's supposed to be changing maybe for the worse or the better. So let's get out there and see what happens next time um, we'll be probably filming uh, a, a, a traffic stop on the motorway or a side road. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned. Don't forget the best political movement, not a party, ever to be created, RE. And we'd like you as a member.